Welcome back to the channel guys. So today Apple has released another watchOS update which is an increment to the official one we received a few days ago. If we go into the settings of my device right here and then go to general and go to software update it just takes a moment and you can see watchOS 10.4 and this is the first developer beta. It comes in at quite a substantial file 756 megabytes and i'm updating from the initial watch os 10.3 which was officially the update that we received a few days ago so right now this is not all that apple released in fact there's been a few changes to the way apple released updates because last week they released ios and ipad os but today as you can see here they released mac os 14.4 this is the first beta and this is watch os 10.4 beta 1 you can see released today and a few of these others were released a few days ago i'm not exactly certain why this is so but at least we have these updates so i'm just going to update to them and then we're going to see what are the new changes within the os just like that the update is now complete you can see we have a new splash screen upon finishing the update and if you click ok just like this it continues and now we are back into the time here if we go into settings go to general and then go to software update it will say i'm up to date and if we go to the about you can see the new build number that we have it ends with a g it's 21 t 51 85g so depicting that we still have quite a number of other betas to go before we see this being released officially now in terms of the new features and changes you can probably see the first new feature because when i go here to where it says the emojis you can see some of the new emojis that we got when it comes to this watch os 10.4 i'll just quickly scroll to my favorites so you can see this shaking the head up and down or sideways like this these have been added as well and also we have a few others because you notice some that i had started to type like the dragon or the lemon slice right there and also when you go to the icons tab just a second from last you can see that we have a few couple more this one is new this one is new and i believe these two are new emojis that are here within watch os 10.4 and of course these carry over from what we had with ios 17.4 that's in beta as well if you go into your settings and then you go to where it says gestures right here if you have the new apple watch series 9 or the apple watch ultra 2 then you are going to see a sub menu section that says ignore this gesture function when you are using the vision pro device since you use your thumb and index finger to control zoom in and be able to put things in and out with the apple vision pro so this is something that has been added and you'll see that if you have the latest apple watch devices like the series 9 or the ultra 2 now in terms of a setting that i think you might need to maybe review for your device if you have it on your apple watch has to do with face id and settings and if you go into where it says unlock with apple watch and basically this uses the connection between your apple watch and the iphone and then it allows you to be able to securely unlock your iphone if you are wearing your apple watch so one of the things that i noticed with this feature is that if you unlock your apple watch and you put it on a desk like this it would think you are still wearing it on your wrist and even though you leave your phone behind or something it will still be able to unlock it so in addition to stolen device protection if you want to enhance the security of your iphone when you are wearing your apple watch then this might be a feature or setting that you want to review or turn off one of the annoying things with this update well the apple watch in general even if you have an apple watch that has good battery life and that is charged to a hundred percent you are still unable to update without connecting your watch to a charger even though it's at 100 percent and the maximum or battery health is over 80 percent which apple recommends changing you can see here i'm on 97 percent but i still have to connect it to a charger in order for it to down to install the update so hopefully in the future we get to see that being changed a setting that has been updated when it has to do with siri has to do with messaging with siri so if you open this you notice that siri can now read messages in other languages that are not set as your default device language so if you receive a message you can see the siri will be able to use the language in this list and then 
this will not change the primary language Siri listens to and responds in. So for example, if you want to add, let's say for example, Finnish as or French as your additional language to allow Siri to read in, it won't require you to speak French in order for Siri to listen, whether it's on your iPhone or on your Apple Watch. So it's good to see that Apple has added this as an option. And then also another setting that has been added here. Well, it's not a setting, but it's a feature that has been enabled for people that use Siri in different region. And you can see if I go into my Siri setting here and click listen for, I have the option to choose Hey Siri or I can choose this first one that says Siri or Hey Siri where it listens for both. So this is now supported in Germany. If you are not seeing this before and you are in Germany, well, when WatchOS 10.4 comes out, you'll be able to see this. Basically, those are all the new features and changes as of now that I've managed to find with WatchOS 10.4. Keep in mind that this is the first developer beta. The public beta usually comes out in a day or two. So if you're a public beta tester, look forward to the update then although it's not one that i would recommend you update to especially if you have a main device and you rely on it to do a lot of main tasks then it's always worthwhile to do it on a backup device or wait until at least it's stable enough but otherwise most of these features are very minor compared to what we had with ios 17.4 i covered it on the channel and you can check it out and see all the new features that ios has and uh, that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace